Good morning. Today, I am getting ready to go out of town for a while, but in the meantime, I'm off to Antique Crossroads in Hagerstown, Maryland. Let's go in and see what they got. Look at those funky glasses. Those are really neat. Oh, I remember this case. So tempting, that cat. But 225 definitely uh, couldn't do much of anything with that for resale. Even if I got it for myself, I would like to uh, leave at least enough room to resell for a couple bucks profit if I wanted to. Look at that vase, that's really neat. And I love the glowy hob nail. Yeah, this is a really nice booth. I feel like it's been a little bit since I've been here last. Couldn't help but notice the bake light over here. Can't see the prices though. I'm really just looking at that brooch. Kind of wish I could see at least an idea of how much it is. The salt and pepper, $54.50. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that the brooch is probably just around retail. Let's see. I've been kind of killing it on my cat sale lineup so far. 14, yeah, that's about retail. Uh, I think I have about 250 so far. So only like 100 more to go. Speaking of uh, cats, I remember last time I was here, there was this incredible lucite cat in the case. It looks like it's sold. That's not that surprising. It was a pretty good deal for a collector. Kind of sent me down a rabbit hole. Honestly, I really like that basket. How much is that? 34. Yeah, it's kind of sent me down a hole. I've been deep spiraling into uh, different lucite cats that I had never come across before. Oh my gosh. Dude, what? I've never even seen this before. $28. So that's a bit steep, but I think I am gonna go ahead and take a risk on it just because Valentine's Day planters are so hard to come by and I've never seen this one and it's especially cute. Wow, that's awesome. I'm not even gonna look it up. I'm just gonna get it. Oh my God. Oh, that is insane. It's almost $300. Buzzkill. <laughs> um, this is pretty too. 195. Let me stop touching that. Yeah, this is really a showstopper. I love that. And then I see a Cats by Nina over here. Let's see. It's a planter vase. 18 bucks. That's not bad. What is this random cat bank peeking out in this glass booth? String holder. It's kind of fantastic. I've never seen that before. It's in really good shape. Let's see. 15% off. Extra five with cash. I can swing that, I think. I mean, other than that little spot on the bottom, it's kind of perfect. Gosh, I'm already paying up for stuff. This is why I try not to come to Maryland. <laughs> it's kind of hard not to pay up for stuff compared to Pennsylvania. Look at this cool bellhop piece. That's really different. Wow, I really love those green glass shades. I'm not much of a paperweight person, mostly just because they're heavy and I sell a lot of super tiny, fragile stuff. And oh, this one's like, um, I'm nervous about shipping them together, but this booth has some really amazing ones. Really, really unique. So I did calm down and break down and finally, just give the uh, little Valentine's Day dog a quick Google. Oh man, that's awesome. German. Uh, and sure enough, I didn't look too much, but there wasn't any on there that I saw. And the few ones that were similar um, and actually newer and in less good condition went for about 55 to 59 average. So I think that one's gonna do better than that, honestly. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. Look at this fish. This thing's cool. 
kind of like that. It's probably contemporary, but it's got a certain look to it. You know what I did bring today? I don't think it's going to glow, but it does not. Still very cool, though. Yo. What? Murano style glass owl. I thought it said glow owl. <laughs> Kind of looks like it's signed. Maybe I'm making that up. Maybe it's just the reflection. That is really neat. It's thirty dollars. Let's see what else is in here. That's really pretty. That's at thirty-eight. There's something about that owl that's really calling me. I'm gonna take a better look at it. I think. Uh, just trying to. Look around me first. Hmm. Got some Bakelite bracelets in there too. Can't see the prices from this side. I'll have to go to the other. Yeah, that's, there's something really neat about that. Maybe I'm crazy though. Well, you guys know I love a good perfume. Look at the one in there. That is really unusual. That's 28. The little one with the kind of pastel geometric bottom, but then that kind of orangey gold stopper that's kind of neat this looks really tiny but i think i need to see how tiny it is to believe it it's pretty epic just kidding well the answer is it's just as tiny as it looked <laughs> that's ridiculous i've never seen an iridescent hager vase like that that's really neat wow that cat is amazing what does that say made Disney, Wade Disney, $240. Good grief. That's a huge Wade. Oh my gosh. It's that perfume bottle. Oh, these are so fun. I saw one of these in Indiana. I really wanted to get it. Uh, it was like 20 something dollars. It was like almost 30 bucks. And I looked it up and they didn't sell for as much as I thought they would. So I couldn't, but this one's 10. I'm just gonna make sure. Oh, God, that smells horrible. Just kidding. Oh, my God. That is tragic. Just kidding. But I love the look of it. And then, oh, I'm still kind of recovering from that smell. But I was looking at this. That is adorable. 15, though. That's a little close. Whoa. As found. Chair with cats. How weird is that? It's like a vase. What's as found about it? Oh, I see it's got a broken flower. That's so cool though. Man, I really wish I could justify that. It's really neat. I was looking at this though. Satin glass vase, $10. It's got a couple imperfections, but I kind of like it. I think I'm gonna get it for 10 bucks. I kind of feel like, why not? I wouldn't mind looking at that. What is as found about this? That is really pretty. Oh, I see the whole backside is broken off. That's a shame. Here's the fun little figurine booth. Oh my gosh, look at that little gobel owl. That is adorable. Man, it's only 15 bucks too. I feel like that's a good price, especially for uh, a gobel figurine I don't usually come by. Cute little lighter. Cow figurine, that's kind of fun. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this one. Is this English? It's two-faced, how fantastic. Yeah, made in England. That is so spectacular. 35 is definitely too close for me to do anything with it for resale, but if it was for me, I would jump on that. Well, it looks like she added some different Bakelite bangles in here. I think I am actually gonna take a look. I can't tell what the price is on that crazy orange one. Looks like $15 though. The prices are kind of all over, but they're really reasonable. So I think I'm gonna get in there. In the meantime, I thought I'd better check out down here too. That one's 25, that's Fendi. That's a uh, blue site. Ooh, what about this one? That's funky. 15, blue site. It's got like rhinestones in the flowers too. I kind of like that. Is that Sarah Coventry body shits? I wonder. Lucite bangle. I also can't help but notice the Hagen Reniger dinosaur in there. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get some keys. Ooh, on my way to uh, pick up keys at the desk. I couldn't help but notice these. I love these little game pieces. Oh, those are so fun. I've bought and sold them before, honestly. They sold pretty well. I'm not sure. They don't have like my favorite one in there, but still. Oh, those are so fun though. I'm tempted to pick them up, but let's see what else I got in this booth today. Oh, I see two things. I see the little elf planter. I'm going to also see the uh, Japanese art glass vase. Is this witch giving me a finger? <laughs> like, what? Dude, is this an AR hippo? Folk art clay hippo. Peru. Man, that thing is awesome. For seven bucks, I'm definitely going to grab that. I was looking at the bluebirds, but at 75 I mean, it's not a bad... This one's in good condition. This one's got a bunch of damage. I think it's 75 each, though. That's what I was trying to make sure. If it was 75 for the pair, it would be a no-brainer. Yeah, it's each. What are these things? Five uranium, floor protectors. Oh, they're like coasters for the chair. That's freaking cool. $30, 15%. Super neat. Hey, check this thing out. Angelfish. How cool is that? Not exactly what I thought it was from far away, but still neat. This is kind of a neat little vase. Little parrots on it. Noritake, Japan, 40 bucks. Just kidding. Wasn't expecting that. Is that a little anchor on the box? Oh my gosh. Covered mini dish is. Oh my gosh, how sweet is that? I love things with anchors on it. It's also $3. That's really cool. I'll take that for 3 bucks. Oh, and I think it's German. Look at this number underneath. I thought it was Japanese, but with those German, uh, with those that font on the numbers and that finish on the bottom, it says Germany to me. That's a win. Oh my gosh. Does that say $25? Is it broken? That's a really good deal. These uh, telephone girl planters are really hard to come by. I've actually never seen this exact version. It's $25 and 20% off. That is a no brainer. It's a really good deal. I thought it was gonna be cracked or something. This vendor's usually pretty on the money. That's awesome. Hey, look, checkerboard bowl. That's neat. 50 bucks. I think it's neat, who makes that? Not sure, that's really cool though. I'm not crazy about the trim on that. I also like small stuff, like tiny, tiny. This is an awesome lamp. Love that combo. This booth has some cool stuff, usually. I feel like there was a cat in here. I almost got... Dude. What is that vase? This thing is so spectacular. It's heavier than it looks, too. Uh, Raymond Matthews Jr., 82. I see perfume bottles on there. The prices are all over the place, uh, but I don't see anything quite like this. Unfortunately, $95. I don't think I can do much with it. Um, I don't really feel comfortable paying that much for it, but if it was a little less, I think I'd have to scoop it. I have like such a sickness for Jack in the Pulpits. Wow, and look at the color on this. Wait, 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 wait. What? Lydia Cornell. Linda Cornell. Oh, that's like the sealed with the kiss woman. Dude, that thing is so rad. What? Yeah, sealed with a kiss. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with that. Wish it was a little bit smaller. Can't. All those, the size of it kind of does make it. But I don't want to mess with that thing for 45 bucks. Man, I love this Viking vase. That thing is radical. What's going on in here? A little Westmoreland. Green heart dish. Don't usually see the green color. 28 though. It's really that, uh... Oh my gosh, that makes me so nervous. It's really this enamel dish that was catching my attention. McRae Studios. 20 bucks. That's cool. Love the color on that. What is happening with those salt and pepper shakers? <laughs> those are ridiculous. Oh my god. 
jackpot. First of all, these are amazing. It's like a variation of the aspirin bangle. $15 is a no-brainer for that. What else we got? $8, kind of an awkward shape. $5, $8. Look at these guys. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. The cuff, these are amazing. These are like tigery. I think those, that there's a chance those might even be Bakelite. Let's see what else they got. This is, this is making my day. I'll take this acrylic yellow one for three bucks. I'm gonna put the wood one back. But let me grab that. That one's really trying to come with me, that Lucite one. Okay, check these out. Five, three. These are all wins by me as far as I'm concerned. That's kind of nice. What about this? That, that one's wood. This kind of red donut one is fun. I'll take that. And pink, this kind of, ooh. Uh-oh, the tag fell off that one. I'll grab that one for $3. That's really cool. And let me fix this right quick. And uh, I'm gonna take all these. I, I normally wouldn't wanna pay that much for these. Um, they're 12 bucks, I know everyone's like, what? But just for resale, uh, the thing is I never have any green ones because I always keep the green ones. <laughs> So that was a nice little score for sure. Some I'll sell and some I'll keep. Shocker. All right. Now, let's see what else we got. Let's see, Lucite Candles, 105. What? 105. Silver Fleck. Um, that's kind of a fun vase. Wait, wait, wait. I love this. Vintage Plastic Blue Grape Cluster. That's super funky. Just because of the color alone for five bucks. I'm going to grab that. I uh, don't normally see that. This is really neat, too. Antique web blown opalescent. That's gorgeous. I'm not going to touch that for that price, though. Oh my gosh. What is happening here? I'm scared. That is absolutely stunning. Millefiore handkerchief. Wow, that is gorgeous. I think I'm going to send a picture of that to Pete. I've never seen one like that. Yeah, so it comes to $120. I mean, for resale, that really doesn't leave any room, I don't think. But it's so, so pretty. I'm, like, having a moment with it. I need to put it away. Oh, I need to put that back. I sent a picture to my friend Pete, so maybe he'll text me back and say oh my god that's some blah, 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 and you have to get it and i'm like okay <laughs> don't mind if i do in the meantime uh, let's see what else they got over here this is really neat polar bear that's so pretty too but i i'm it's kind of hard for me to see anything past that uh glass cat eight bucks yeah it's kind of hard to see anything past that like, that's really pretty, but ain't nothing touching that. I am even underwhelmed by this at that point, actually. But this one, this one's Goble. That's kind of funky. Paperweight. And 20 so 12 bucks. I might look that up. I feel like I looked these up once and they didn't sell for as much, but I'm kind of, I feel like I need to get away from this booth because really all I can focus on is that. In the meantime, uh, I'm still trying to send the picture. I don't get great service in here. That is really cool. That's at seven bucks. And I think I'm gonna have to look at that. There's a couple things in here that are really neat. I love the copper, copper enamel butterfly brooch. And then over here, so a little lamb, 19 though. I am having a hard time stepping all the way away from that booth. Uh, let's switch gears for a minute. Because I'm like super hyper focused. That's got a cat on it. Fenton. Four bucks. That's, that's kind of can't say no to that for four bucks for my cat sale. And yeah, this booth always has such great prices. I love that uh, Van Briggle. 
face in the back. And then here, I think I looked at this last time, 15 bucks. That is really pretty. I can't remember why I left it here last time. I think I was just kind of tapped out. I love the silver flex in it. $15, I feel like is a good price. Look at this rooster, that's pretty great. All right, well, I got a bracelet for resale and a bracelet for myself. Now, something caught my attention over here and now I can't find it when I was walking to get the keys. I love that uh, 20, 2250. That's kind of wild. I like the colors on that, but where is it? Oh, there it is. That was it. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Eleven fifty. Ooh, I forgot to charge my phone today. It's got some serious damage on it, though. That's a shame. There's a couple interesting bake light pieces in there, and celluloid. Hmm. I'm getting a text from Pete. I think he's justifying my Murano moment. I don't usually go for stuff like that, but I'm telling you, there's something about this. <sighs> driving me crazy. Oh, I just can't not. Pete told me it was not the greatest deal, but I wouldn't lose if I resold and I believe him. This thing, I have never seen one quite like this in person. That is just everything. Oh my god. Yeah, I think I'm gonna treat myself today. I'm gonna hold on to this one for a while. Uh, I might sell it sometime in the future, but... For now, I just really want to enjoy this. I think it's gorgeous. Now, check this thing out. It's 50% off. That thing's crazy, too. I don't know if I can justify that. Oh, but it's so cool. Now, because of the discount, there's a couple things in here. Sleepy Eye Toothpick Holder. What is that? It's really different. Now this thing's cool too. This would be 30 bucks. That's kind of wild for $30. How tall is that? Huh. It's probably, might be contemporary, but the base is kind of strange too. That's kind of fun. Looks good with my bangles. Well, I think I am gonna go ahead and pick this up. It's not my favorite thing to ship. But it's really cool, and I kind of feel like for $30, I won't go wrong. Why not? Hey, check this out. This is 50% off, too. Carved Scotty Dogs. It's a smoking set. That's really fantastic. I love the eyes on that. It's got uh, something. Ears are chipped off, though. That's a shame. That doesn't surprise me. Those are usually very expensive. And what about this little Amberina piece that's nine bucks? Not bad. A little underwhelming considering some of the things I've acquired on the counter. I love the merry-go-round plate. I just realized what time it was. I have no idea how I managed to spend this much time here. I've been here for like two hours. It's really kind of wild for me. I'm usually in and out. What's this vase? That's kind of neat. Oh, not what I thought it was. I thought it like had like a snaky application on it. I'm starting to wind down a little bit. I was looking at the bracelets. I don't really see any bangles that I like. Um, it's more of the metal stuff. This is really cool. I like that periwinkle color on top. A little out of my price range for that considering I have no idea what it is. Um, 50 bucks. Let's see. That's kind of neat. 45 yeah that's right around brand and the blue case oh my gosh i'm trying to squeeze through here not doing a very good job well i was looking at the cat plate and then i saw whatever that vase was back there look at that thing that's wild glass and amber oh, cool I don't see any tag on it. It's probably a small fortune. Well, I got some treats for me and some treats for you. And I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna run next door to Beaver. 
Creek, uh, but I don't have too much time, so I'm not going to film. I will see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m.